In this video, I'll be turning the boring Windows startup logo into your own custom logo. So let's get started. First up, open up your search menu and type in system information. And over here, just click on system information, this application right here. And then make sure you select this option that's the system summary and over here make sure your bios mode is set to uefi if it is something like legacy which is what most windows 10 operating systems are then you won't be able to do the setup and what you can do is just reinstall your windows on your computer using the uefi bios mode there are some chances that you're running a really old system if that's the case with you then there's no luck on installing windows 10 or any other operating system using the uefi bios mode and if you come down here, as you can see, we have this option right here that's a secure boot state. If it isn't off, then you don't need to do anything. But if it's set to on, that means that you'll have to disable secure bit on your computer to do this setup. To do that, just close the window on your computer and open up your start menu. And then click on this power option right here. And then hold the shift key and then just click on restart. And then once this window is opened up, just click on this option that says troubleshoot. And just click on advanced options. And over here, as you can see, it says UEFI firmware settings. Just open it up and just click on restart. Now here, as you can see, I have my BIOS right here. Yours might be different according to the type of computer you have. I'm right now running Windows 11 on a virtual machine. This is how my BIOS looks like. So now all you gotta do is just go to Google and search on how to disable secure boot on your computer's BIOS. Alright, so the first thing you wanna do is head on over to the link in the description. I'll open up this website right here that is github.com. And over here, just click on this link right here that says hackbgrt.zip. Just click on the link to download the zip file. And then once it's done downloading, open up File Explorer. And then open up the Downloads folder. And over here, as you can see, we have this zip file right here that says hackbgrt. Just right click on it. Click on Show More Options. And then click on extract too. By the way, you'll have to have WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip installed on your computer to extract the zip file. Then once it's done extracting, open up the folder right here. And then open up the subfolder that says 1.5.1 hack BGRT. And here, as you can see, we have a lot of files right here. Make sure you set the view over here to large icons so you can see clearly the icons right here. And just minimize all the windows on your computer except the file explorer window. So expand it and just keep it on to the right side and make sure you have your logo ready the custom logo which you want to set up whenever you start up windows on your desktop ready i've got it already right here the logo right here as you can see so all you gotta do is just right click on your logo and then just click on open with and then choose paint now over here as you can see microsoft paint just opened up on my computer and over here all you gotta do is click on the resize button over here and then this window right here choose pixels and then in the horizontal text box, type in 200. And then click on OK. And then once you're done with that, just decrease the window size, like so. So here, as you can see back in this folder, we have this image that says splash hack BGRT. Just right click on it. Click on open with, and then choose paint. And then just decrease the size of this window as well. And over here, just hit Ctrl plus A, and then hit delete. And then once again, just maximize the window. And then choose resize and choose pixels and over here just set it to 200 and set both the values to 200 here as you can see here it's just 100 just in case it shows that just click on this icon over here on windows 10 it might say maintain aspect ratio but on windows 11 we just have this icon right here on whatever operating system you're running just do as directed and just type 200 on both text box and just click on ok and just maximize the window and over here back on your custom logo, hit Ctrl A and then hit Ctrl C. And then back on the splash window, hit Ctrl V. And then over here just click on file and then save. Just go ahead and close this splash window and then close your logo window and hit down save. And then once you're done with that, just right click on this file that is set up and then click on run as administrator. And then the user account control window, just click on yes. And then in this window right here, hit the letter I on your keyboard. Here, as you can see, Notepad has opened up. Just close down Notepad. And just close down this Paint window as well. And then hit any key on your keyboard to quit the setup. And just close all the windows on your computer and save any files. And then hit the Start menu and then restart your computer. And now here, as you can see, we have our custom logo right now showing on this boot up window right here. 
which looks pretty cool. Here, as you can see, we have the Sahib Tech logo right here while it's restarting. We got the loading icon over here as well. So now we successfully added our own logo right here. Now, just in case you want to reward the changes and get back the default boring Windows boot logo, let's go back to the file once again and open up the setup bar by clicking on it and then click on run as administrator. Again, just click on yes in the user account control window. And now in this window right here, like we just hit I before, this time hit the word R on your keyboard and all the hack BGRT files have been removed. Now over here, just click on any key to quit. And now we've successfully reworded the change and now we have the boring Windows startup logo. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give this video a like and share with a friend. And if you have any queries, you can put it down in the comment section below. And please hit the subscribe button to support me. Till then, see you later. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.